Hi, and welcome to another video of Unlock Panda. Today's tutorial will focus on troubleshooting. To be more specific, we will be trying to unlock an LG G7 Think from the T-Mobile network. However, we will encounter some problems, but I will show you what's the process to, to solve those problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go and find out the IMEI number by pressing star hash 06 hash. Here you will find a 15 digit number which will be displayed on your screen. Now on your computer, go to the website unlockpanda.com. So basically right now we're just on the process of unlocking a phone. Later on, we'll get into the troubleshooting part. So now we have to enter some information about your phone. First, go ahead and enter your carrier or the original provider which the phone is currently locked to. Then you have to enter the manufacturer or the brand of your device. On my case, it's an LG. Now you have to look for the exact model. LG has a lot of models, so make sure that you select the right one. So I'm looking for the LG G7 Think. And I'm gonna select the Unlock app. Uh, here it is. This one. Now enter the IMEI number, this was the 15 digit number we found out on the last step. Uh, then you have to enter the email, this is where you wish to receive the unlock instructions. You have the option also to enter a telephone number, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then at the bottom of the page you see the estimated delivery time as well as the price. Okay, so let's click on unlock now. Then you're gonna go to the following page. In here, you get a summary of your order. Make sure that everything looks good. And uh, if everything's okay, go at the bottom of the page where uh, we will start with the payment process. We get the option to pay through PayPal. I'm gonna select this method because I think it's very secure. So I just have to enter my account information. And after I'm done with the payment, depending on the estimated time of delivery, you will be receiving an email just like this. Okay, so on the email, as I said before, you will receive uh, detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to proceed to unlock your phone. Okay, so now we have to go back to our phone. We have to turn it on back again. And now, all we have to do is connect to a Wi-Fi connection. So I'm just gonna enter here the password for my Wi-Fi network and wait a couple of seconds for the confirmation, here it is. And following the instructions on the email I received, I have to look for the Unlock app from T-Mobile. So I'm just gonna go look for it on the applications on my phone. I think it's gonna be here on this T-Mobile folder and there it is, Unlock app. And here, we're just gonna press continue. Here at the bottom. And in here, you have to press on permanent unlock. And it's gonna search on the T-Mobile servers if the phone is unlocked. This might take a couple of seconds. And if everything is okay, you should receive a message saying that it has been unlocked. However, we just got a message saying unlock failed. Okay, don't panic. Uh, there is a process to go on. And uh, I'm gonna show you how the Unlock Panda support team helped me. And uh, I got at the end my phone unlocked. So all you have to do is go to your email and write to the address support at unlockpanda.com subject I just I'm um, gonna write um, unlock unsuccessful and then I'm just gonna send a brief message explaining um, that my unlock didn't work and uh, the most important thing is to write the AMA number that was the 15 digit number that uh, we got on previous steps and I'm just gonna write the model that um, I was trying to unlock that's all that you need to put on the email. That information is enough so that they can find your order and start helping you. A 
couple of minutes later, I received an email just like this. Basically, it wa they were saying that uh, they received my message and they were looking into it. And a couple of minutes later, I received another email. On that email, they told me that they checked and that the phone has been unlocked, so that I should perform another step. I had to perform a factory reset to the phone. Okay, so going back to my phone, I'm just gonna go to settings and I'm gonna perform a factory reset. Just make sure that you have a backup since all information will be erased. And this may take a couple of minutes. So after the reset is done, let's go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network again. And after you are connected, go into your applications and search for the unlock app again. Okay, here it is, and we're gonna try and unlock it again. So on here, remember you have to press on continue, and it's gonna connect to the T-Mobile servers. And now, you have to press on permanent unlock, and now it's gonna check again on the T-Mobile servers if the phone has been unlocked. Remember that this might take a couple of seconds. And apparently the unlock has failed again. Okay, don't worry, we're just gonna keep talking to the support system from Unlock Pan. I'm just gonna reply on the last email I got and I'm gonna let them know that I'm still getting the error message. And again, I got an email immediately telling me that they received the message and very shortly after, I got another message with uh, instructions. On this message, they're basically telling me to do the process all over again. Um, this might seem that we're doing the same thing all over again, but I'm sure that they are working on the servers to make the unlock possible. So here we are again, we're gonna try to press the unlock app one more time. Hopefully we'll get a different outcome this time. So go ahead and press on continue. And remember we have to select permanent unlock. It's gonna check on the servers again. And hopefully this time, yes, unlock approved. So as you see, the support from unlock panda works. You just have to establish communication with them and follow the instructions that they will tell you. I'm just gonna restart the phone here to show you that the unlock has worked and that the phone is working. So you can look at the top here. I have a signal that means that the phone is unlocked and it's working 100%. I hope this video was useful and I'll catch you on the next video.